Hello and welcome back to PSN News. I'm Joseph Dorman. Alongside me is Kyle, Kyle Kroboth, president of the Legion of Blue Club here at Penn State. Kyle, thanks for coming in today. No, of course. So let me start off by asking what exactly the Legion of Blue is. Yeah, so the Legion of Blue is the basketball, uh, the basketball student section for uh, Penn State men's and women's team. So what we do is we go out to all of the games, we sit in the section uh, right behind the benches uh, where the players sit, and uh, we cheer our hearts out. And we also hold some preseason events. Uh, we had the Shrew Slamma Jamma this past uh, week, which was like a pep rally at the East Halls Courts. And we also actually just today had the men's basketball open practice and last week had a women's basketball open practice. Mm -hmm. So a lot of fun stuff to support the team. Cool. So how long have you been president of, of the club? So I was actually elected president of the club this year, but I've been part of uh, the organization for this is my third year and mm -hmm. been going to basketball games my whole time here at Penn State. Cool. So how would you describe sort of the, the kind of responsibilities that you, you hold as, as president? So as president, I'd say the biggest thing that I do is really work with athletics on the student experience, making sure that kind of our voices are getting heard uh, as students as to what we want to be seeing at the games and serving as a liaison to uh, make some of that stuff happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you sort of like just work to, to organize groups. Yeah, yeah. So really, I'd say one of the big things is we really advocated as students to get this, uh, this move from, uh, we were previously on the other side of the court um, mm -hmm. in terms of where we were sitting. And that was kind of an issue because you couldn't see us on uh, TV whenever you were panning over the crowd. You, uh, we couldn't really yell right in players' faces on the <laughs> other team kind of give you that home field advantage. So we were able yeah. to advocate for that change and uh, really get it done, which is a really exciting thing for us. Right, so would you say that when it comes to sort of organizing these, these large groups of, of people and students, would you credit more the excitement of the sport or and the school spirit or actions of you and your exec board? So I would really put it to both. Obviously, having a, a good team is, is going to be part of it because people want to go out. Just look at 2019. You had a team with Lamar Stevens that goes into, uh, would have gone into the NCAA tournament if you didn't have uh, COVID happen. Right. But really, our job is to facilitate uh, all of that. Mm. So we market the team, go out to the hub, pass out flyers, post fun stuff on social media, and really just generate hype uh, for the students and make sure the students know that these games are out there. They're a ton of fun. They're really affordable. Uh, the season tickets this year were only $50. Mm -hmm. And the single game tickets are $5 for non-con and 10 for uh, conference games. Right. So just a super great experience all around and something that we just try to push out. Cool. So in your eyes, what is, what is the perfect atmosphere or, or environment for one of these, one of these student, student basketball games? So really what we want to see is people supporting the team, being loud and being proud. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do is create a home court advantage for the team. Right. And that's facilitated by being behind the benches now, but that's also facilitated by us making sure that everybody is getting loud, getting hype, and really embracing that in-game experience to give that, uh, that kind of boost that, that you see at other uh, universities is what we right. think we have here and what we can continue to provide as the team gets uh, more successful. So you sort of want to turn it into like the environments of football games. Exactly, right. yeah. yeah. So I mean, obviously it's a little bit different because there's not going to be as many people and football kind of markets itself. Yeah. But for basketball, that's kind of, we want to be loud and you look at the whiteout and you're like, okay, that's the best environment mm -hmm. in college football. There's no reason we can't have the best environment in college basketball yeah. at Penn State. Perfect. So you, you mentioned COVID. How have the last couple of years, especially with that, that great 2019 team being put, put a stop to COVID, um, how has that sort of affected the, the Legion of Blue these last few years? So it's been hard. Um, we had great momentum going uh, through the 2019 to 2020 season, and then that gets completely stopped. Mm -hmm. uh, we pretty much had to take a, a gap year on Legion of Blue uh, in that 2020-2021 season because we weren't allowed in the stands. But we were allowed in the stands for the uh, Big Ten Conference uh, tournament that year, which allowed us to kind of start getting ourselves going again support the team, uh, show the team we were there, and then right after that we hired our new coach, Micah Shrewsbury, mm -hmm. and that just kind of set us off on some awesome momentum. Uh, starting last year, had a ton of people at our first game last year, and just we're kind of hoping to uh, continue to build that momentum. We have uh, our best uh, recruiting class in years yeah. coming in this year, and 
the future is really looking bright and we think that we've really capitalized on kind of the new beginning after COVID and with uh, Coach Shrewsbury's hiring. Yeah, that sounds awesome. That sounds promising. So with basketball season coming up, uh, what is it, this, this Monday? Yeah, first game Monday. Right. Uh, what, what do you foresee or what do you, what do you really hope to see uh, for this, this upcoming season? So I think that any Penn State basketball fan will tell you that a big ten, or a, uh, NCAA March Madness tournament appearance yeah. is going to be the barometer for success for this team. I mean, an NIT berth would be a step up, but really getting into March Madness and showing America what this team can do and what we know it can do mm -hmm. is what we're going to be looking for this year. And I think uh, I'm really hopeful that that uh, comes to fruition. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, so finally... Uh, if someone is sort of interested in joining you and 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 the and the student section, how can how can they get involved? So uh, we do have a group me that uh, really pushes out uh, different information on the games. Uh, we have uh, ticket sales online, as I mentioned earlier, and uh, we also have Instagram and Twitter. So if you follow us at Legion of Blue PSU and you're looking to get involved, you can send us a DM there, and that's a great opportunity to uh, find out some more information about us. Yeah, so that's great. We'd well, love to love to hear. Thanks. Well, uh, you know, Kyle, thanks for coming in today. I appreciate you being here. No, of course. Thank no you for problem. having me on. Uh, next up, Jamie and Jace will bring us the latest news from across the nation. We'll be right back.